Hello, Year 7. Happy New Year to you all. Um, lovely to be talking to you again. If not seeing you, hopefully I'll see you soon, all things being equal. Anyway, to this um, term, we're doing the wind in the willows. So before we get on to uh, just listening to the book, which is what we're going to be doing for the, the uh, first three lessons, uh, you'll do now is what things do you associate with the word spring? As in, um, you know, spring that comes in April and May, not, not a coiled spring. So write down as many ideas as you can of words that you associate with spring. It would be daffodil, sunshine, warmth, you know, as long as you can uh, uh, for five minutes. Your do now is to uh, write down everything you associate with, with the word spring. Write down as many ideas as you can. I've got a few here. Look, spring cleaning. This is what we find mould doing at the start of the book. New life, animals, certainly some animals are born in the spring. Uh, Easter takes place in the spring. Growth of plants, buds and flowers, etc. And of course, it gets um, a lot lighter in the spring, which is always uh, a lovely thing to happen. It's a time of year I think we're all going to be particularly looking forward to uh, when it comes around this time. Um, anyway, as many things, write down as many things as you can in five minutes that you can associate with the word spring. Now, for the next 50 minutes, um, you need to just uh, click on this link and listen to the Wind of the Willows being read to you. When you've uh, done that, just write a very brief five minute um, summary of what you've heard and upload that onto, uh, onto class chart so I can see, that, um, see what's gone on. You can bullet point it if you want. It's not a test, I just want to make sure that you're uh, keeping up with the story and that you have in fact listened to it because it's gonna be very difficult to uh, do the rest of the lessons if you haven't. So that's what we're doing for the, this lesson and the next two lessons. Enjoy.